welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. Um, I'm a little bit disheveled. <laughs> I was out at, I was just at a sale, um, and I didn't film there, but I was just at a sale, and it's cold, and the wind was blowing, and I was trying to carry this stack of shoes, and they were falling all over the place, uh, so that was kind of a mess. But anyhow, now I am on my way to a rummage sale up in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania at the Presbyterian Church. I have never been to this sale, so I figured I would give it a shot. There's not a whole lot around in the way of yard sales this morning. Uh, Fridays, Fridays have kind of been slow in my local area, although I did get some super cool shoes today. Um, anyhow, let's go check out this rummage sale and see if it's any good. Fingers on me. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, these are cool. Ah, put them in my bag. Thank you. 
Oh. <laughs> mm. All right, I better go upstairs. This is this what you want? Yeah. Can okay. we pay upstairs or? No, or? We, we pay here. You pay here? Yep. Okay. Then I can go upstairs. The shoes are from upstairs that I have in my bag. Did you pay for them? No. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. I mean, I'm going to keep looking upstairs. I might get some more, so. I spill that. Yeah, that goes to the doll. She sits okay. in it. Oh, don't spill it. Yeah. I'm gonna put just sit over there, okay? I'm like One, two, way. three, four, five. Jenny, do you, are yes. you available to do something? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Upstairs. Okay. Yeah, like okay. I, I sent Kylie up to get another table. There's a small table in the hall. It's a you know, it's mm -hmm. not very big. Did you, you want to put your, in your bag, or do you want yeah. to give you a bag? Yeah, I can put it in my bag. Okay. I don't know. Where's the end of the line here? Yeah. I'm, I'm Thank you. Sure you. Sorry. 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 <clears throat> Oh, sorry. sorry. Downstairs was not that great. Have you gone down there? No. <laughs> not a lot. I had, I had so many. It's like handmade. Yes, you may. Oh, I didn't even see this room. Holy mackerel. This room first. Oh, <laughs> You're fine.
I love your taste in hats, sir. Yeah, we get to mm. so dollars. Um, $79. It's not very much price. Yeah, I got an Eagles tattoo. see on that Radco one. Oh, like, Okay, so let's get into this church rummage sale haul. Uh, so I totally did not realize that there was a room off to the left and I opted to go downstairs, which was kind of a mistake because there was like nothing down there. Um, anyway, you guys saw me pick most of this stuff up, but let's just recap what I got real fast. All right, so pick this vintage it's a single stitch star wars shirt up it's got some fading and whatnot but this should sell for 20 to 25 dollars plus shipping downstairs i did pick up two video games battlefield 4 nope seems like a loser it was only a dollar uh i'll probably like i'll take that to the flea market with me maybe and sell it for like two uh, or three, I don't know. Uh, and then I got Legend of the Dragoon. Dragoon? Um, so this is actually missing one of the discs. There's supposed to be four in here. And I think it's missing disc one. There's, yeah, there's two, three, and four, I believe. Uh, disc three yeah it's missing disc one but anyway these actually seem to sell okay by themselves as single replacement discs so i will probably sell each one of these for about 12.99 free shipping on those and i do have like extra empty cases that i can put these in um so they can ship without without being damaged so yeah i picked up a pack of like blank like disc holders 
like last year at a yard sale. So just in case something like this would turn up. All right, then I got a couple of, oh yeah, and I paid a dollar for that too, I believe. I think the t-shirts were three. I had to pay at three separate areas. Um, so I kind of lost a little bit of track and I'm actually filming this haul three days later. All right, I'm a little behind on my videos and everything. Um, I had one of my daughters move back in and it's just been like a process. So anyhow, back to the haul here. I got two of these um, soaps made in Italy. This is like a blood orange of Sicily. Uh, these are new and sealed. These will probably go for about 15, 16, 99 maybe plus shipping. I got the blood orange and I got white roses. Um, this may be, this is made in Italy too, but it might be, might be a different company. I'm not sure, but these were actually $4 a piece, which I did not even realize until I got up to check out. I didn't see the price on the bottom. I thought they were like not priced. So these are, these were $2, um, 19, 1896 to 1996 Centennial Olympic Games collection, just pins. Um, I don't foresee these bringing a whole lot of money. I honestly have not looked these up yet, but they were $2. I figured I'd give it a whirl. Why not? I do remember selling some Olympic pins a while back and I don't think they brought a whole lot. And I think they sat for a while to be honest with you. All right. So I got two of these. These are Heartstone pottery. These are like a newer one because these are not marked with Heartstone, but they are marked with the hearts. Um, and there's always like a little... I don't know. I guess you could call that a little signature of whoever made it. Uh, anyway, I got two of these, $2 a piece. Not bad. Little cherry, heart-shaped cherry, like muffin tin. I do have to look up the pattern, but I think these should be good for at least 20, 25 bucks a piece plus shipping. Uh, fingers crossed. And that is off the top of my head. Um, I don't have time to look everything up before I do these hauls, but um, different patterns sell differently. This particular pattern I have never come across before, but here is the second one. This actually has a little nick. Um, I may lot these together. I actually probably will lot them together just because that one does have a little nick. Can't really do multi quantity and have them in two different conditions. Um, I could do separate listings, I guess, but I think I am going to lot those together. So we'll see what happens. All right, that's all for that bag. Then I got these. These are, these are Tara at Home. So very similar to Temptations by Tara, but Tara at Home. Um, Mila, 20 ounce. Mila the monkey. Is that maybe the monkey's name? Anyway, these are like, kind of like a figural embossed mug. And I thought they were super cute. I don't even know how much I paid for them. Um, are they marked? Two for a dollar. Okay, so I paid 50 cents a piece. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's not a bad deal for some mugs. I will definitely sell those together. Maybe 20, $25 plus shipping. All right, and then lastly, like I said, this is my first time to this rummage sale. I wasn't super impressed. I don't know that I'd necessarily go back um, unless there was nothing else going on. And I, then I'd go back. Why not? Uh, okay, so these are the sack, like sack roots, Wellingtons, rain boots, wellies, whatever you want to call them. They look like they are... I don't know, either very, very gently used or not even used at all. Honestly, they're in fantastic condition. I did leave the box. The box was there, but I did leave it because it takes up too much room in my bag, honestly. And I figured if they were used, it wouldn't even matter. But um, I see mild, mild signs of possible use. So I will list these as used, but super, super cool print on those. Um, I would say at least 25 plus shipping. And I think all the shoes, I think the shoes, I want to say $3, possibly $4. Um, these definitely have some wear. These are Merrill Barefoot. 
These I won't list for a whole lot, honestly, because they do have more wear than I realized. It was a little dark in that shoe section. And I don't even know if these are men's or women's. Women's, they are women's size 10 and a half. They just have like some discoloration like inside or along like the sides of the footbed. This right here is a laser straight light, a guided leveler. And it also has like an included stud finder, I think, which those stupid things never work anyway, I swear. Um, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, but this can help you install shelves and hang pictures and it's it's probably it's as seen on tv so it's probably like some real gimmicky thing that who knows if it even works but it was two dollars and i figured i will keep this for myself because it may come in handy one of these days if i don't lose it in the meantime a lot of times i will make personal purchases that i do not need at the moment and then i put it somewhere <laughs> like when i do like maybe happen to need it i'm like Oh, I know I bought one of those. Where is it? So I need a better inventory system at my house. <laughs> okay, and lastly is this little gal here. She is a baby alive. And I I pick up baby alives quite often. Uh, I actually sold one, my best baby alive, I believe sold for a little bit over $200. And she was... I want to say like maybe mid 2000s, like maybe a 2010, 2008. I don't know. Well, that's not really mid, but it's like mid from right now. If you're, if you're in my head doing the math, <laughs> you'd understand where I'm, where I'm, where I'm coming from here. Um, anyhow, it was a really, it was like my best um, baby alive sale ever. She was a like bilingual doll uh i forget what her hair color was but it it might have even been blonde i don't know but she was a little bit harder to find and she had accessories with her and everything else so that was a super good sale um so anyway this gal i picked up for 50 cents i still have to she's from 2017 she's got a little bit of messy hair and whatnot but um, I should definitely be able to get at least $20 for her, plus shipping, possibly more. I have to research her a little bit more to find out exactly which doll she is. So, yeah, that, that, I believe, wraps up my rummage sale haul. So, you know, um, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, saw a few other local resellers there, so, um... Hopefully they found more than I did. I, I did speak with a couple afterwards and I know what they got, but um, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.